Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, it looks like we've got main female, main male, and toil and labor. So it seems like the, the feminine energy feels like this relationship is too much. It's too much work. Somebody feels like um, someone's a liar. It's, it's just like um, in the relationship, somebody manifested a lot of drama. So they brought other people or other situations into the connection. Or they let somebody come in between. What is toil and labor for this relationship? The feminine energy feels like she's going to put herself first and not be concerned about the relationship anymore. Yep, ten of wands. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. If somebody just feels like, okay, you, you put left everything on me either it's with the children with the home with the everything you just put it all on me to carry this heavy load this weight of this relationship i have to figure out the dates i gotta do the vacation and i gotta pick up the kids i gotta cook the meals i gotta clean the clothes i gotta wash the dog i got somebody sounds like you just put it all on me with the ten of wands here what is the main female in the main male what is the energy between the two Somebody just feels like this relationship, I might as well be by myself is what I'm hearing. Let's see. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, somebody's in and out. You know, they do as they want. They're not committed to the connection or the relationship. There could have been infidelity or it's just that somebody is a charmer. It could be you, Cancer. It could be a Leo. Um, it could be anybody here. It's just like somebody feels like, okay, this is somebody who's not settled. They want a relationship, but they're not settled. Um the female or the feminine energy just decided to leave you know and or put themselves first kind of check out of the relationship what's going on here uh for cancer yeah four of wands talking about the home or somebody's getting around other you know women somebody's got a group of women that they are rotating amongst with the knight of wands and the four of wands somebody could be like a hobosexual living with different women here um they've got or visiting different women or sleeping with different women somebody this relationship has grown to be toxic karmic stuck stagnant not what somebody signed up for somebody was not in the energy of doing all of the work keeping the relationship together kind of just you know showing up for the connection and not knowing what they're going to get in return always giving not getting anything uh, reciprocated so somebody's over it. Somebody's saying this needs to end or it's ending or we're at the ending here. Um, somebody's doing something really fast. We got all these wands here. Somebody made a declaration of what they're doing and they're moving forward. Um, somebody's gotten around a good circle of people that they love or they like. Uh, maybe they're friends and they've, they've got like support. The eight of swords. So it's like, yeah, um, at one time somebody felt like there was no way out. Uh, with the eight of swords there was no way that they could move on or let go or the ball was in the other person's court uh, if they let go then i'll let go this was like you know that song uh, neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye but somebody said you know what goodbye um it looks like the feminine energy decided to put herself first this could have been a marriage there could have just been a marriage where somebody always was acting so independently within the marriage not acting as a unit um, what's going on here for uh, cancer? Uh, the empress, yes, yeah, somebody's deciding to put themselves first, pamper themselves, do for themselves, care for themselves, um, be creative, sing, dance, dress up, do whatever, uh, live life, travel, eat, drink. It's somebody's just like, you know, it just doesn't matter at this point. You know, I'm doing everything already. I might as well do it by myself. Let's see. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Someone's deciding to go on a new journey, walk away. They're not really telling people as to the reason why they're specific details as to why they're walking away with the Eight of Cups here. Only they know why they're really walking away. Someone is saying, I'm walking away because this is an act of respect, self-respect. If I stay, then it's on me uh, with the Eight of Cups. Someone is not even walking away to go to another person. Someone is saying, I'm just choosing to be free and go you know on this new journey by myself whatever happens happens if i find somebody great if i don't you know you know whatever someone is just more so moving away because something is dissatisfying discontentment boredom i was giving and giving and giving and getting nothing in return or very little or 
getting somebody's ass to kiss or I had to beg or I'm just not with it anymore. Somebody felt like somebody was in and out flighty, a visitor in the home and they're supposed to be the husband or the wife. Let's see. Four of Cups. Yeah, that's you, Cancer. You could just be over it. I'm over it. I'm done. You know, throwing your hands up, crossing your hands. You're no longer going to uh, wait for somebody to two of pentacles change or show you that they're changing. Uh, or someone feels this way about you, Cancer. They're moving on. It's too much going on. It's too much in the air, up in the air. It's no concrete decision being made. Like, this is what it is. Or this is not what it is. It's just like... Ooh, it's up in the air. It's all like like a um the juggler. Like somebody's juggling you or juggling a decision or just seeing how long they can go without making a decision, stringing you along almost. Um, what is the advice for cancer moving forward? The King of Pentacles. Um be strategic no, this is um practical, methodical, mathematical. So you need to make sure things add up, be practical. And have a method to how you will move forward. A method to your madness or what it may appear as madness, okay? Um, whatever you touch, it's the Midas touch. It's going to go good. Don't worry. Um, the five of wands is showing up. You feel like maybe you suspect that there's somebody else with this king of pentacles or they were in some type of love affair, maybe with more than one person. The two of swords popped out in reverse. It's like no reconciliation, no reunion, no talking about it, no going to therapy. No, no, no. Um, that's the advice. Uh, clarify the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, the emperor stand on what you what you say, what you mean. Don't go back on it. Be unwavering, unmovable. Know that you're making the right decision and stand on it, especially for a feminine energy. If you have children or if you live in a house with somebody, because somebody will do reconciliation with you or reunion with you, but they ain't doing it. They just go, you know, they saying that they're going to do that, but they're not going to do it, do it. You know, it'll just be in word only. They will not show you any type of change. Yeah, just resolve to be friends or have a friendship, especially if there are children involved um, so that you guys can move seamlessly through, you know, the transition from married, married, to unmarried, divorcee. Yeah, be a beauty queen. Get out there, stretch your stuff. You might have a platform, public platform, where people see you on. It says get out there, or you might be dealing with somebody cancer who has a public platform. They just want to be your friend, or they resolve to be friends with you. They are a beauty queen. This relationship may have, you know, came into your life to bring spiritual growth. This was or is her twin flame, but this was a relationship of hard work. Maybe this was her true love. Um, but somebody is over it. They're done. It could have something to do with a mature man. Somebody's going gray, going bald. Um, a lot of life experience knows how to read people really well. But somebody may have chosen a soulmate union over the actual twin flame union. But now somebody wants new love. But all the while having an open relationship. This This is convoluted and crazy. This is somebody here who wants to come back now because somebody's leaving. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm out of this energy. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me yeah, let me know how it resonates for you. I cut the deck. They're missing you now, okay? But they treated you unfair, and now you see something clear. Man, they're sick. They can't get out of the bed. And some of them are angry, and they want to come with the theatrics and the fight and the fighting, okay? Um, Or they want to fight for the relationship now. But they, they're full of shit because... You know, why do I have to leave and do all this for you to, you know, um, now you want to fight for it. This is, yep, can't make it up. Cancer, you may be feeling like, why do I have to do this ghosting for you to get fiery and want to fight for me and say that I'm your happiness? When I know it's all a lie and you're a con man, um, definitely dealing with somebody who is older or this person was bringing you gray hair, okay? They kept gray hair in their beard. And, and this person was an El Cheapo. Maybe they just didn't give enough. They didn't pay enough. They didn't give you enough attention. Um, yeah, it go weeks of no communication. They're supposed to be your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever. Um, they were all talk and no action. And maybe they stayed with you because you were resourceful. You were a good idea. You were the smart choice, okay? 
and they want to um, stay in the marriage because they know divorcing can't make this shit up. Divorcing will cost too much. And they being honest with you. Now they want to tell you you're their sunshine, even though they were leaving you out. Now they want to straight up stalk you, even though they dated. They want to date you and date other people. This is absolutely crazy. As the nine. Great. Last card. Yeah, they were hiding several affairs from you, but it came out in reverse. So you might have found out about these affairs. And that's why you realized they weren't there for you because they were with these people. Uh, but now they want to stay with you. So this could be like a man who wants to stay with his wife because she is safety. It is home. It is home base. You know, you can go outside and you can go play and do everything else with all these other people. And then you can come home to this safe, cozy, comfy, you know, place. Somebody was, um, somebody's trying to play in magic to, to figure out where somebody moved. Somebody's a drunk or a lush or they like to get drunk. I can't make it up. Whomever this is, they feel safe with you. They like to go out in the streets, get drunk, and maybe even have drunken sex, but they feel safe with you. They love to come back home. What is this magic, this residential move? Somebody felt like you moved overnight or you made some move, some big move overnight or you made up your mind overnight. What is this? Can you, can you speak to what this magic and residential move came out together? Seductive. Oh, you might have kept it from them. You were stuck on maybe making some move. I don't know what this is about. I'm going to pull one more card from this deck. What is this residential move and magic? Residential move and magic. Residential move and magic. Trickery. Somebody tried to trick you into moving with them. Or they would say that you guys are going to move together. Yeah, Knight of Cups, the sweet nothings, and we're going to do this and proposing this and proposing that, and we ain't do nothing. Yeah, propose, maybe even trying to propose marriage or move with the Hierophant here. It could have been a male Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Somebody was stringing somebody along here. Somebody just cut it off. Okay. All right, I get it now. Um, somebody kept somebody stuck, like... Because they would say things. Oh, this is a lush of the mouth, too. They would say anything. Say anything. Yep. They just say anything. Somebody didn't know they were effing over an earth angel. Somebody got unstuck. Now the other person is stuck. Because look what they're doing. Staring at your picture for hours. I'm obsessed. Now they want to surprise you with a new life, a new home, a new car, a new baby. Now they feel like they love you and they want to be with you forever. This is absolutely crazy. Somebody said, we done because you had sex with my friend or friends. Or somebody had sex with somebody's friend. And now they're done with that person. They want to come back to you. It's a big ass question mark in regards to this person. I can't make it up. You are comfort. You are home. And maybe that's why they want to give you this engagement ring. Now they want to be rational or you're the rational choice, but they were lusting after um, people that they thought they can make money with or they may even be saying it was just business, flirting. Mm -mm. This is too much, but I'm nosy, so let's see. Yeah, now that you're not occupied with them, Cancer, now they want you back. And I don't think it's that you're coming back. Yeah, you decided to be the single woman, the privileged lady, and just move on. Yep, now they're coming back with that message, trying to revive something with petty little offers or petty shit that they're saying. Um, they may even be giving you a message within seven days that they're going to come to you or they want to take you out or they want to tell you all their secrets or let's go to counseling or therapy or why'd you air all our laundry out to the public yeah 
good luck with this one cancer if it resonates let me know what resonate what part resonates with you is there somebody now they want you back now that you're leaving is there somebody here play games with you not knowing your true identity as an earth angel is there somebody trying to get you to come back with all of the tricks and the magic um this, is there somebody who promised you all of these things and they and they delivered on none of them or they delivered about two percent um let me know what's what's going on down in the comment section all right if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below Get, uh, readings are 40 percent off use code 40 off at checkout uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you want to be around business-minded individuals, sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where we talk all things practical and spiritual in regards to how to start, um, maintain, or grow your business. And if you want to hop on a discovery call with me, they are complimentary just to see if I could help you in business and to see if you would be a good fit uh, to work with me. So go ahead and schedule your uh, discovery call. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience, as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.